Are you considering becoming a dentist? There are three questions you need to answer before you commit to the profession. Number one, are you willing to sacrifice multiple years of intense studying followed by a lifetime of education? Two, do you care about helping people genuinely? Three, what type of life are you actually trying to live? And is there another profession out there that can get you that life without you taking out a $750,000 loan to do so? Chances are there is. So I'm a dentist and you're probably wondering what my advice is about whether or not you should be a dentist. I can't answer that question for you, but I would say if the answer isn't a hell yes to all the questions that I already listed above, then you shouldn't do it. Now that you have the questions, let me walk you through the journey from being in high school and take you all the way to being a thriving dentist in 2023. Okay, let's get into it. So why should someone want to be a dentist? I think you should be a dentist if you genuinely like being in people's mouths and you really don't care about making money. See, you can help people in other ways. You don't have to do it in dentistry. I think for a lot of people, dentistry is rewarding and fulfilling, but it's much deeper than just making someone smile better. This profession is far from perfect and it's very far from ideal. It takes a lot of work. Did you know that it takes over 20 years to be a dentist? You go through high school, you go through four years of undergrad, you go through four years of dental school, and then you're a dentist. If everything goes as planned, that's 20 years. The crazy thing is, is not a lot of people get into dental school the first time they apply. And so they take master's programs and they do other things to try to get in. Some people even have careers before they decide that they want to go into dental school. And I think that's just completely wild. But these people are super passionate and determined to become dentists and that's what they do. So if you're considering doing that, know that it is possible. All right, how do you get into dental school? You got to have a pretty good GPA. You got to have shadowing hours. You got to fill out your application and you got to take the DAT exam and score well on it. What should you be doing in dental school to make sure that you can make the most amount of money in the real world? My biggest tip is when you're in dental school, you get out what you put in. You need to focus on clinical stuff more than the didactics. Yeah, no one really cares about the Krebs cycle in the real world, but you need to know it to pass the board exam for whatever reason. And make sure that you're assisting the best performing upperclassmen. You're a product of your environment. And if you surround yourself with greatness, guess what? You're going to be great too. If you surround yourself with the lazy ones, well, you're probably going to be lazy and you're going to learn terrible habits. Another tip, don't skip out on clinic. If your patient cancels, find something else to do. The years that you have in clinic are so, so valuable. So as much as you're going to be tempted to go and eat lunch somewhere and take the day off, I did this and I definitely regret it. There was so much that I could have learned. I just didn't know what I had until I didn't have it anymore. So make the most of your situation and don't feel bad about putting a lot of effort into getting better at dentistry. Because when you're in dental school, a lot of people can judge you and they'll say that you're, you know, trying to be better than other people or you're a gunner or whatever. Now, I don't think there's anything wrong with wanting to do a lot as long as you're not hurting other people. Always work together and be collaborative with classmates. But you also need to make sure that you're getting yours and you're doing you because after it's all said and done, no one else is going to have your back when you're out in the real world. It's just you. Another thing is the more confidence that you have in doing different procedures, the better off you're going to be in the long run. So always be willing to try and use the fact that you have other doctors watching over your shoulders to do a lot of this stuff. One key point, know that learning does not stop after you get out of dental school, okay? It's a lifelong thing in this career. So you graduated dental school. How the heck do you get a job? A couple of things that you can do is while you're in dental school, you can network with faculty because they're usually connected and know people out in the real world who may be looking to hire. Another place that you can go is Indeed. A lot of places list job opportunities there. You can also reach out to reps for dental supply companies like Henry Shine or Patterson. They're pretty connected with other dentists in the area and they'll know if people are looking for associates. Again, if you did what I told you and you helped out upperclassmen, they're going to be another source of a network that you can tap into because either someone that they're working for or someone that they have previously worked for or someone that they know may be hiring and they'll be a great person to network with. And then two places that you can check out are Dental Nachos or Dentist Job Connect as well as Ignite DDS. They both have great networks to connect you with owners that are looking for associates. This didn't exist when I was an associate, but now that I know about it, I think it's a great resource and I think you should use it. So what should you be doing at your job if you want to make a lot of money as a dentist? Be open to learning. You don't know everything, nor will you ever. So always be open to learning. Another thing you should be doing at your job, if you want to really make a lot of money, is learn clinical and business. You never learned anything about the business side of dentistry, and it looks different for every practice. How do you learn the business? So what you should do is you should actually go to the front and just ask questions. Ask them questions about how are we getting patients scheduled? How are we collecting for money? How do we submit to insurance? Ask the stuff that you're wondering about and you assume is just known. Because when you ask questions, it starts to bring to light what is the strategy and what is the system that's being used. So if you're looking on how you can level up your skill set, this is something that you should follow. Learn the basic procedures, get really good at them, and then learn complex procedures. Once you know that, find the complex procedures that you enjoy doing and do a lot of them. This allows you to charge more for your work and help more patients. It also makes you in a category of one. Because while every other dentist is not doing that special procedure, you are. Now you're differentiated and you're going to have a lot more earning potential over the course of your career. Some examples of this could be implants, aligners, veneers, Botox, airway, TMJ. Commit to one of these as these have the greatest ROI and are going to give you a bigger sense of fulfillment in 
what you're doing in dentistry. It takes time and it takes money to learn how to do this stuff, but I'm telling you, you're going to appreciate it on the other end and it's worth the investment. Also, make sure that you're in a practice that allows you to do these procedures. If not, move on. Don't waste your time. So I'm sure you heard this, but you need to invest in CE. The more you know, the more you can do, but be smart about what CE that you take. Take something that you're going to be able to actually implement in the practice that you're at today. So if you're in a practice where you're just kind of doing basic stuff, don't take a full mouth rehab course. That is a huge investment. And if you don't think that you can actually take what you learn and apply it to your situation, it is a waste of money. So don't make the mistake that a lot of people do and throw a whole bunch of money at something that you're not going to be able to actually have an ROI on. I compare it to that because for the program that I created on clear aligners, I teach people how to start doing clear aligners from the ground up, which means you can invest in the program and immediately see an ROI because the actionable stuff that I teach you is stuff that is super simple. I have a free masterclass where I go over exactly what you need and how to start. The link for that's in the description below. So how do you transition from being full-time dentist to a part-time lucrative dentist? A good strategy to do is to build your schedule up as much as you can, get busy, and then start to cut your days. This is a simple thing in the world. It's called supply and demand. The demand are patients. The supply is your availability on the schedule. So what you can do now is you can shrink your schedule and you can actually schedule things out. So now instead of being booked one week, two weeks in advance, you can be booked out a month in advance. Now you have scarcity and urgency. So your team can genuinely tell patients that Dr. So-and-so is not available for another month. Let's book you on the schedule now so you have your spot. That doesn't mean they're going to go somewhere else because if they genuinely like you and believe in what you're doing, they're going to wait for you. Stop being afraid to limit your schedule. You're actually missing out on a lot more opportunity than you think. The other benefit that comes with shrinking your schedule down is now you have more time in your life. Now you can do other things besides dentistry because let's be real, there's more fun things in the world to do than dentistry. It's called life. This is where a side hustle comes in. Look, so the goal here is for you to diversify your income streams, right? If all you're doing is being a dentist, it's not the best option in this day and age. Because remember how I told you earlier that there is a huge amount of debt that you have to take out to do this? I have another video where I go into the earning potential that you can have as a dentist and it's not as much as you think. So you need to generate more revenue on the side. And honestly, I think the future of dentistry is super shaky due to so many variabilities in the market. So why not start diversifying your income streams now? So what does your income look like if you are doing dentistry and you have a side hustle? For me, you can make good money as a dentist and you can also make six figures on the side. It's less physical work than a full-time dentist, but you can actually make the same, if not more money when you have both. The other thing is when you have any type of online service or program that you offer, there is virtually no income cap. That's when things get fun. But besides the money, when you create something that's going to help people, you feel good about what you're doing. You don't have to help people with your hands. You can also help people with your words and your experiences. It's just a different modality. Look, dentistry is a great profession, not because of what all the other old dentists tell you about it, but because of the fact that you have options. You can create the life that you want to live. The problem is, is too many dentists have narrow minded thoughts and they're not open to getting creative. They just want to be dentists and stay in their lane. Well, that is a dying breed of dentists. They're called the dental dinosaurs. If you're a dentist now and you want to actually have a life that you enjoy living, you got to get creative. I mapped out some reasons in this video. And if you have any ideas or, or you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. I'm happy to chat. My question is why fight the industry trends and just lean into them, right? Do something different. Don't be afraid to try something new. You are more than just a dentist. And hopefully this video showed you a path on how you can do that. Again, if you want to connect, you can always DM me on my Instagram at dr.ovi or drop a comment below. I love connecting and inspiring other dentists out there because I wish I had somebody doing this for me when I started on my journey. I'd really appreciate it if you share this video with anyone you think may benefit from it and also drill that like and subscribe button. I truly want to help other people get unstuck or avoid any pitfalls from my learnings and experiences. I appreciate you. Take care.